but today I got the help of lightchess.org so they bring me some new viewers and also as you can see we have some improvement and rook b6 I didn't see rook b6 I miss rook b6 and Carlson miss rook b6 what's that? is it a piece in one move? What, what's happening? I just I just oversee rook b6 so Magnus did my god, Magnus Carlsen giving up a piece in one move! Look at his face! Look at his face! I overviewed 96 and you overviewed. I overviewed Rook B6, but Magnus did as well! Oh my god! Oh my god, is it a blend of, of Carlsen? Is it Carlsen missing? This is my Carlson missing the, the, the bishop is pinned because the, the knight is on e6. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at his face. Look at his face. Oh, you should be kidding me. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe he should play now knight c5, hook d6, and knight e4. But maybe after. Maybe h3 here was a problem. And, and a2 is coming, so you can't even exchange it. You need really knight f4 is the move. And now I, I know he's sinking, but I'm pretty sure he's taking. Oh, he's taking this bishop. How could you? I think it's still a draw. Oh, he's so lucky. Magnus is lucky here. Yeah, I guess it's still a draw. I'm pretty sure, in fact. Because the knight against the rook in the, it's a draw, so I'm pretty sure he can uh, he can win a pawn and then exchange it. Oh God, b6 knight d5. B7. So now the task is clear. I don't need to stop the pawn. Uh, Carlson needs to stop the pawn, but what a newbie saying banner 1011. <laughs> yeah, it's. He could come for for the Monday stream this Monday. Let's uh, let's call him. Because this is looking more like a game between Blitzstream and Preza than Vichy Anand uh, than Carlson against Vichy Anand, isn't it? This is what you see every Monday, blundering pieces in one move. <laughs> oh my God! I, I didn't see it myself. I was like calculating ninety six would be three. I was just not thinking about it anymore. This is not blitz when this is rapid. Ah, even Carlson can do it. So e4 pushing the pawn now. So now you have to calculate all line with rook b2 check. Uh, king here. Maybe king f4 one and b2. And if the king is going backward, yeah, maybe you can stop the pawn. Uh, so it's. Uh, it's not over, surely. This is not over. King of seven. I think he was overconfident. I think Magnus was overconfident here. If rook c7, I think king b3. And uh, if you take, the, the king is on time. And uh, if you don't take, then the knight will come here and will attack the pawn. So king f7, e5, king e6, king c1. So the thing is that maybe Anand is not able to take advantage. The engine, yeah, hello Matt Froci. Uh, the engine is saying minus two but uh, it's not always really relevant because uh, if, 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 if you stay a hook against the knight in the end game the, eng the engine will be pretty sure that uh, Anand is winning with black he would give like minus one minus two but in fact uh, the hook against the knight is just a dead draw so you cannot really trust your engine here Hello to Zulats, by the way, is that Tolus? We need a close up face cam on this one. Yeah, we need it. 
I will highlight the moment of Carlson giving up a piece. Carlson giving up a piece in one move. Classic. Classic. Will by the way, will it change will it change the mood of Anon for the for the match they will get in Sochi? It's interesting because it's the first time I guess Carlson is showing Anon that he can uh, blunder. And by blundering I think by I mean real blunders. So now Anon should show some class. What happened for Hook A7? If, the, if Hook A7 now and I A2, closing the door. I don't know why, but I have a feeling Magnus will just hold it. It's lucky though to make a blunder in this position, because if you make such blunder in the middle of uh, of a game, you just lose it. And here the position is 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 uh, is, is such that he still has pretty good chance to hold. So ok7 was playing knight a2 of course stopping the pawn and king e6. Knight a2, come on knight. King e6, so he wants to king on d5 now. He wants the king on d5. Come on king, make the job. No, Magnus is not trying to win. Oh, you are joking, sorry, I didn't see the smiley. Oh, queen and king c3. So if king d5 now, I guess he plays knight b4 check, king comes back and knight a2. Yep, the white pawns. Oh, and I'm sorry, the rook is on b7 here. But it doesn't change anything because king d5 uh knight knight before anyway he played rook b7 instead of rook a7 i just uh, couldn't uh, clearly see it's funny some people on the chest bomb Chad are saying I'm not happy about this Anon win because I want I wanted to win it uh, that he win it with with uh, with uh, with technique but this is not over and you should not sign Carlson off here at all. I'm really not sure it's winning. I'm really not sure he will win it. Yeah, if King D5, sorry, you can you can take it exactly. You can take on B4. You can take on b4, yeah. King takes and a2. Yes, you can. So, this is just something I forgot. So, maybe king d5 here. Just move the rook and. Uh, or maybe rook b2, I don't know. Okay, he's playing rook b8. This is uh, an interesting move. He's just keeping the position like that because it means that. Uh, okay, you can play king d3 because of, of rook check. Rook check, and you lose the knight. Uh, you cannot move the king, and you can if you move the knight to c1. While well, I'm not sure, okay, rook c8, and, and you lose this pawn. So you can't move the knight, and you can't move the king. So you can move only the pawn. So g5 is the only move, I guess. Yeah, knight before is uh, after knight before rook before is winning. I'm not sure it's because of your connection, GH908. Maybe it's uh, it's some delay with uh, with Twitch, and maybe I should restart the stream afterward. Maybe I should restart the stream afterwards. So the king is on e6. Ah, oh, but the king is on e6. Oh god, I, I'm just I'm just uh, not saying. It's not changing much anyway. Sorry for not always keeping the right position on the board. It's not that easy. It's not that hard, but it's not as easy as it looks. So he plays g5. Yeah, it doesn't change much. And now king king f5. 
110 viewers, you should be kidding me. This is getting po more popular now. D5, so he's sacrificing the pawn. Come on, Vichy, you just need to make it. Only got 140, but there is a 10 seconds um, increment. Zlutz. And now it seems to me that king. Okay, the idea is king f6, d6, king takes, d7, kings come back, and d8. So, okay, he's doing it the other way. So he's taking the pawn. So now Magnus will probably play g7, king e6. So now you have to play g8 and try to get to, to win the pawn on a3, but you can't. I think you can't. Oh god, this is the shocker. Giving a piece in a move and then Anand is just doing the job. Sorry, my board. I, I just touched my board. Oh, wait. Oh god. Banner 1011 saying you are simply better at streaming than Komarov. I hope so. I decided to stream when I heard the commentary of Kamarov, so that was the reason behind and uh, that I just uh, just happens to have time for the last day, so he makes the queen. Okay, sorry, I'm making that. Hook takes, of course. I, I don't think this is the kind of move I should uh, explain why you take the queen. I hope so, at least. So, I don't see how you can... Uh, because when you come, I think you just go rook a3 and you will not be able to do anything. I don't see any setup when white could possibly think rook b3 come and then the king comes over. Yeah, you can play, yeah, so you see, yeah, so rook king b3, it's, it's, in fact, it's, it's the same if you play the knight and king b4. It's still not finished. Yeah, it's winning for sure. So if king e5, by example, okay, knight c3 is the only move, and king, oh, if king d4, knight e2, king to somewhere, knight takes and a2, and I think it's a queen. But he decided to play rook e3. He doesn't want to, 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 to go in those tactics. King c4. I don't know exactly what would happen fee after 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 you or your idea knight 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 before c2, but uh, I think the, the the strategy to win it is uh, more or less the same. So let's see. This is surely winning, but you have to do it. Many people, as you see, like now it's minus seven on the computer. Yes, it's minus seven, but you need to perform the minus seven. You, you need to find the idea to break down the defense. And you have Magnus Carlsen in front of you. It's not like you have uh, a kid at, uh, at the kindergarten. It's Magnus Carlsen, world champion of chess, beating you because you are Vishanon, beating you uh, a few months ago for the title of the world champion. He, you could not even beat him once. And now you have this position, you need to finish him off. But he's a fighter. He will defend himself as the Lannisters in the Game of Thrones show, I would say. So it's 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 not not not, not so easy. But now he's coming from the king from behind. From G2 and, and and he's going to to make a little slalom on the on the white squares. He's going to make a little slalom on the white squares. I understand this game is maybe now not uh, most interesting, but uh, let's let's see. It's it's really interesting. Exactly, Quirty. Because you see, he's he's really he's really trying it.
So now the king is really marching. The king is marching. <sighs> when you just thought Corson got the championship, this is happening. So I don't. It's, it's just uh, just making everything just to be sure there are no forks, not nothing happening. Just keeping. Anyway, he knows this king is coming, and he resigns. Yeah, because next move is king d two. The knight has to move away, and king c two, king b two, and, and and the pawn is, is is going. As you know, it's uh, easy to checkmate with rook and and, and the king against the king. So guys, this is the big surprise, giving a piece in the move and then Anon being clinical.